I'm very hopeful that the labor market will uh, remain quite healthy uh, so that people can feel good about their finances and their personal economic situation. That's Treasury Secretary Yellen with the good news. Uh, Santa Yellen says the Drudge Report. Uh, if only we knew it to be true, or if only Nora O'Donnell at CBS had asked why we should trust Yellen after her previous, I don't know, misjudgments about the economy. I personally believe that um, this represents transitory factors. I think I was wrong then about um, the path that inflation um, would take, but we recognize that now. Clearly, inflation is unacceptably high. It's President Biden's top priority to bring it down. That's going to take skill and luck, but um, I believe it's possible. I don't think a recession is inevitable. With us now, Mitch Rochelle, Visiting Research Fellow for University of San Diego School of Business, founder, partner at Macro Trends Advisors. Uh, all right, Mitch, seldom right, but never in doubt. <laughs> Who, Janet Yellen? Uh, well, she used the word luck, Leland, with any luck. This is a woman who was the chairperson of the Fed, now Treasury Secretary. She said that inflation, as you noted, was temporary. Uh, now it's here to stay. And her strategy involves using luck. Uh, that's not the message you want to send to the economy. I, what I'm wondering, though, is... It, it, as you point out, she was chairman of the Fed. This is a woman who's steeped in, in economics. Uh, she works for a White House that has a very buttoned up comm shop. And yet there's all of these different statements coming out. And, and to be fair, uh, it, you know, economics is the only profession where you can be wrong 50% of the time and still <laughs> keep your job. Uh, that said, I'm, the, the, the sort of intense uh, definitiveness of the statements combined with the incredible uncertainty we feel just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Well, and you're, you're right, Leland. And actually, if you put uh, you know 20 economists in a room, you probably get 100 different answers, which makes it even more difficult. But the, the reality is to fix inflation, you need the right combination of monetary policy, which is what the Fed does. And she's familiar with it from her days in the Fed. And then you need fiscal policy. Uh, the fiscal policy sort of stems from the White House, right? There, you know, the, the, the commander in chief can tell Congress we need to do this and we do that. The problem is they're not focusing on what needs to be done to fix inflation, which is to solve the supply side of the economy. And the president and many members of the Congress continue so, to so talk about more the... stimulation. Now, yeah, go ahead. There, there was a big group that was arguing that we were already in a recession because we had two quarters of, of negative GDP growth. Um, now there's there's a group of, shall we say, conservative economists uh, who say that we're destined to have a recession. Which one is it? I, I believe we were in a recession. Uh, and what we're starting to see right now, if you look really closely at corporate earnings uh, and third port, quarter uh, GDP's last reforecast, you know, the last reforecast, we're seeing a profits recession of publicly traded companies. Uh, yeah, and okay, that's all. That's when, all gobbledy gook. Tell me how. Okay. Tell me when the when when are American the American people going to start feeling better? Uh, I don't think when interest rates are high and that's the Fed's tool to you know squash down demand. Yeah. you feel better. Yeah, no, that's uh, a, good, it's a great when, point. Yeah. When when, the, when mortgage rates are what they're at and keep going up, it doesn't feel good. Uh, more on the mortgage rates, uh, interest rates coming later this week. Mitch, it's good to see you. Thank you. You bet, my friend. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.